like today, I'm going to show you how to get Windows 7 Ultimate for free and activate it for free, obviously. Um, as you can see, I've already got it here, and this is like the free version. And I'm going to just show, go through the run through how to do it, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Right, first, I'm going to go to Internet Exploring, uh, Downloads Computing Technicals. The, the link will be in the description. I'm going to go to Downloads. Right, you want to download uTorrent first. download and then um, install it I've already got it so then you'll do image burn download but I've already got it right then you want to verify what bit operating system you've got I've got a 32 bit you can find this out by going to your manufacturer's website with your computer and then look to see what bit it's got I've got a 32 bit so I'm going to download the 32 one this torrent I'm going to save it uh, I'm going to save to documents close that I'm going to close this open you to uh, you want to add the file which I save all in my documents This can verify well, which ever I don't know how good your computer is to be honest. This, this could take ages, this could take like two seconds. It's obviously going down, but for the moment until it's done. Right, I just realised all this crap that I've clicked on the ticks for, you just want to untick them all except from the the two point yeah, two point three three gigabyte file. I keep that one, I keep that ticked and untick the rest when I ticked them earlier. Okay, it's just all the rest. Right, now as we downloaded that, we can download the Activision. Right, for this process, for the actual um, Windows 7, you need a 4.7 gigabyte EVDR or RW disk, and you need a CDR 700 megabyte. Uh, I'm just going to basically download this and just like drag it to the disk so we can. Um, Install it on the new Windows 7. Just put my disk in. Regular download. You saved it to that, you just basically saved the file, the downloaded file straight onto there. So, right now I've got my disk, I'm going to close that now. Now, I'm going to show you after it's downloaded, which it has done, um, I'm going to show you how to burn it now. You need to put your 4.7 gigabyte DVD R or RW disk in and open Image Burn. to load. Right, now you need to write image file to a disk. Right, and you find your file. Mine's in uh, films. I don't know why it's in there. Right, click open that. Windows 7. That's it. I'm going to click that one. And then, right, now you just want to burn it to the disk. Yeah, so it's bootable. Now you just want to burn it to your disk. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Uh, it'll just be a waste of a disk. Right, and when you've done that, you need to set up your computer to boot from a CD. Now, there's my laptop that I'm using. Right, there's mine. You have to, I have to press F2 to go to the setup. Uh, there's my setup. That's the type of screen you'll get. Not exactly the same. And then go to boot. And then you want to go to um, set your DVD drive to boot first. Or your first priority. Next, save changes. Exit saving changes, yes. Right, now it'll come up with this. It'll say boot from a CD, then it'll say Windows is loading files. And after that, it will go to starting Windows. 
and you fill out your information. Next, install now. Yes, so that's up your starting. Then it goes to this, you just got to accept it. Then it goes to this. Install or upgrade, upgrade or custom, sorry. And you want to go to custom. And after that, it, you choose all partition where you want to install Windows. Next. OK, you just click OK because it's just like telling me everything's going to be deleted. Um, expand in Windows files, you just have to wait for everything to be done. And when it restarts, and when it restarts, it says boot from CD again, click a button or something, or click whatever button. Do not, don't do anything, just leave it, just let it do what it does until it asks you. Uh, there you go. Set up is updating registry settings after it's all done that. Uh, next, completing installation. Set up will continue after restarting your computer. And remember, don't do anything until it asks you specifically after this has happened. Set up is preparing your computer. Video performance. Right, you type in your, your username. Then you type in your password if you want one. Uh, you untick this box um, because you don't want to do that because I'm going to show it has it activated for free. Uh, next, ask me later. Next, uh, click on whatever time zone you are. Next, uh, choose your wireless network if you have one. I'm just going to skip it. Next, Windows is finalising your settings. Next, preparing your desktop. Then you've got Windows 7 Ultimate on your PC for free. Right, I'm just going to go over to the other computer now and show you how to activate it. Thanks for watching. Right, this is the second part of how to activate, how to get Windows 7 Ultimate for free. This is the activation part. First, you need to insert the disk that we found earlier uh, that had your Activision on for Windows 7. Load the disk up. to your recycle bin, empty your recycle bin, close that, just to prove it that it's activated, control panel, system security, system, and as you can see, it's normally down here there's an Activision part, but it's totally removed the whole thing. Thanks for watching this Windows 7 Ultimate for free, hope you enjoyed it, thank you.